Hi guys, it's Jennifer, and it's been a couple months since I did an ammo room tour, so I'm gonna give you guys an update. Hey. So this is my 10 gallon fish tank with my beta and some bottom feeders in it. My beta's name is Nova, and he has changed in color a lot since I last had him. So right next to my 10 gallon tank, I have my 38 gallon tank that's filled with guppies and live bears and one angelfish. In my last video, I showed you Bowser and Sharky and all the other fish that are in there, but I've decided to give them to my friend who has a bigger fish tank so they can grow even bigger. And then over here in the corner is where I have all my reptiles. So right here I have my Crested Gecko tank. It's just a 10 gallon Exoterra. And here I have two Crested Geckos. Uh, they're just babies right now, but I just ordered a larger tank today, so I'll move them into the larger tank once it gets here. So in my Crested Gecko enclosure, I gave them a cork ground for them to hide in. And they also have a ledge with different kinds of food sources that they can choose from. And I put a water bowl for them down below. And I also have a little fish thermometer in here just to keep track of the temperature. Um, but they usually like to hide in the leaves here. You can see one of their tails. I'll pull them out for you guys. So one of my first crested geckos right here is Phoenix. I believe he is a flame morph. When I first got him I thought he was a female and her name was Daisy before. But since then he's grown balls so now it's a male. And then my other crested gecko, which I did not talk about in my last video, um, actually hatched from an egg that I got. Um, this here is Dot. He hatched from two, we had two eggs, and one hatched, but he died. But then this guy hatched, and he's still alive. So this guy's name is Dot, uh, because of his Dalmatian pattern. Oh. And then on my racking enclosure here, I have a five gallon tank for my uh, albino Pac-Man frog. In my albino Pac-Man frog's enclosure, I keep them on some dirt and I also add some moss in there that I miss daily. Uh, I also have a water dish for him to sit in which he gets really dirty. He mostly burrows into the dirt so you never really see him so he doesn't need that many decorations. He's really small right now, but once he gets bigger I'll move him into a 10 gallon tank. And here's my albino Pac-Man frog, Yoshi. And next to my Pac-Man frog, I have my African fat-tailed geckos enclosure. In my African fat-tails enclosure, they have a larger dry hide and a smaller humid hide. And then one of my African fat-tailed geckos is Leia, Princess Leia. Uh, she's more timid than Nugget, but she has a better looking tail. So the second African fat-tailed gecko that I have is Nugget. Uh, she has a little fat tail, regrowth tail, um, which is why I call her Nugget because it looks like a nugget. Um, she's a lot calmer than Leia and likes being held a little bit more. That's a good girl.
And then below these guys, I have my African Fire Skinks enclosure. In my African Fire Skinks enclosure, I like to keep it really simple because he's mostly just hiding underneath the dirt. I gave him a little hideaway log in case he gets scared and he can run away really easily. I also gave him a little log that he can climb around. He also has a water dish that he likes to swim in a little bit, it gets it really dirty. And then he also has a little mealworm dish. And then next we have my African Fire Skink Slinky. He was my first ever reptile and I got him for free at my store because he was missing his arm. Right there, missing arm. When we got him in, he had a broken arm and he wouldn't let it heal. Uh, so it ended up having to be amputated along with his tail. But his tail has grown back so much. Um, but he's my favorite and I love him a lot. Thank you guys for watching, leave a comment down below if you want to see anything else, and please subscribe!